sure. Um, a lot of times I'll just go through my follow list and find somebody that I already know, and then every now and then I'll go down to the games. Latest uploads, I just I just don't use this feature. Um, I know that some people do. Um, I pr I should probably use it myself more, but this is like TwitchTube. Um, I just I, I could probably make a little bit better use of that. But uh, these vodcasts being in the live channel list, when it says live channel and it's not actually a live channel, it's a, it's a pre-recorded broadcast. It's kind of like ah, live channels and vodcasts or something along those lines. Nah, prof, because I don't want I don't really want to see that. Like, if I wanted to see, I missed yesterday's Kerbal Space Academy, or I had to leave in the middle of it or whatever, um, I mean, A, I would just go to my own channel and it says, view last broadcast, right? And you can literally just go right here and it'll pop up the view last broadcast thing. Um, that's how I would see the last video that I wanted to see, but I, I just don't think it makes any sense for them to be there. I mean, if I wanted vodcast content, I'd go to YouTube. I mean, you know, anyways. Like, if I was just looking for random stuff like that. Um, every day is part of your switch to PC on routine. Log into DOS on Twitch and see if it's renewable. It takes 10 seconds. That's what you do, really, Quotessa? That's not a bad idea, either. Brings up a preview of the channel when you hover over it. Mine doesn't do that. What do you have that? Big fan animal, you agree with me? About to put the kids down for the night and watch some DOS shenanigans. What's up, MRC? <laughs> we're just, we're spooling up the stream, and I'm, I'm talking about the, the latest... Uh, drama, I'm not that excited about, I'm not that upset about it, you know what I mean? Um, it's just something to discuss and something to get feedback on, I mean, you know what I mean. So, uh, anyways. I mean, I see why they did it, some big streamers probably wanted a way to make money even when they're not live. I, I get it, Brewskies, I get it, and I com I think that it's a good feature. I was on the playlist beta, I provided emails, just reams of feedback about how playlist experience went and stuff like that. And one of the things that I said was that <laughs> you need to know when it's live versus not live. You really need to know when it's a live broadcast versus not a live broadcast on all delivery platforms. So mobile, um, your TV browser or whatever, your smart TV app, the website, whatever it is, however you consume Twitch content. You really, you really got to know because I don't like being baited and switched. Man, oh yeah, I can't wait to see this for start. how to start playing StarCraft 2. Um, oh, there's a giveaway going on? Wait, what? Um, anyways, I'm sure BTTV will have an option to hide vodcast from the live list. That's interesting from me as, for me as a consumer, but I realize, like, what's the percentage of people who consume Twitch content versus the percentage of people who use BTTV? You know what I mean? So you probably watch this VOD, so you know, you like the vodcast feature? No, I agree. I think that there should be a vodcast feature. I loved Playlist. I was one of the few people who stuck with Playlist and was actually upset when they ended it. Um, but the way that Vodcast is implemented and mixed in right now, it shouldn't be mixed into live content. Sub tip and get mad when they don't recognize it exactly, Mutter. No, I, I get that as well. I completely get that. And then the Vodcast doesn't actually fire the interactive overlay stuff, so we couldn't solve it that way, could we? Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, I completely agree. Um, but it needs to be cleaned up as it needs, you know what I mean? It needs to be cleaned up. Um, anyways, space news. We've got space news that we can do. I think. I've been running podcast 24 seven since that change. Even though he's not live, he's still, he's like typed into the mind stream. He's like, yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. Our podcast generally available to all streamers now. Uh, that's a good question. Have they rolled it out to everybody? I think they They did roll it out to everybody, if I'm not mistaken. Hum. I don't know. Yeah, this is a good question. Question, Space Pat. I've, I've just, I'm in all the beta groups and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I love providing feedback, and you know what I mean. Um, I keep saying you know what I mean because I don't know what else to say about it. You know. Um, heard the headlines like the Mars idea is dead now. What's up with that? Dude, you didn't hear headlines that the Mars idea is dead now. You heard a probably paid for article on Ars Technica by somebody who wants SpaceX to be their friend um, about the Mars plan. That's I am beginning to look at the URL when I see things like that because now anytime I see news coming from Ars Technica, I take it with like a half grain of salt. And I have lots of grains of salt around me to use. Um... <laughs> That's just what I have to say about that. I am, uh, yeah, it's not headlines. It's one article that maybe got retweeted a few times. 
And yeah, click Baitnica, exactly. It's like there is an author on Ars Technica that's writing controversial, poorly researched, heavily slanted articles um, that, granted, a lot of people might agree with. And yeah, um, click Baitnica, exactly. Uh, man, I'm it's just like, full of salt today. I just got to get it out of my system. <laughs> I do. I gotta get it out of my system, y'all. Um, because I have just <laughs> been, um, <laughs> I'm like at the shooting gallery, and I'm like, there's a target, there's a target, there's a target, they're just shooting all the targets. Oh, man, I'm just full of salt today. I just gotta get it out of my system. Oh, it didn't go off. I do. I gotta get it out of my system. But no, seriously, uh, you saw the one about ULA pricing that was one of the most poorly researched, less backed up, made up information articles that I've read in a while, and then a couple days later, another thing about the, uh, the Oh, the plan for Mars being missing from a video that was released or something. So the entire plan for Mars is just out the window. You just, I hate everything. Space is terrible. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I've been I've been looking at the article titles. Found a great way to make your Oculus Rift get better. It helps you with short-term lenses from the 2020 lenses. Cut down on headaches and nausea, really? The short-sighted lenses. Cool, man. This is like is something that helps correct your vision or something like that. I guess. Putting the 2020 lenses. <sighs> nice, thanks, man. Did you know if you have Amazon Prime? Who has Amazon Prime? Raise your hand. Um, anyways, I know I've been just right constantly. Um, space news. Das Saltez. <laughs> Saltez. One salt to get one panel, or one Valdez to get four panels. That's right. It's the panel. It's the the. Sodium chloride to panel oxidization ratio, <laughs> like an entire container of salt, will oxidize one panel, or you can just use one dust to get all of them. Anyways, y'all. Um, again, I, I, I get it out of my system. It's just stuff to talk about. Um, I don't think that it's the end of the world because vodcasts are in the live list. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world because something happened and a vodcast ended up on the front page as the featured stream today. That's not the end of the world either. You know what I mean? Um... Is it the end of the world because Ars Technica put out an article that I thought was poorly researched? It's not the end of the world either. It's not the end of the world either. So it's it's just I, I talk about stuff and I, I I will tell you that I kind of like uh, get it out of my system by making a bigger deal of it than it actually truly is to me because it's not that big of a deal to me. Anywho. Anywho. Um, also, Static Fire success. Look, let's get into some actual space news. Check this out. Uh, Twitch, no, 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 Twitter, actually. Look, let's hop over to the Twitter for Space News with Das Valdez. Look, um, well, I don't know what that is. Thanks, Hideo, I appreciate you, man. Ready to get your dinner out, Mom. 
in the microwave right now. And I have your cheesecake out warming up for ya. You're a fettuccine! No, I'm saying be ready when it's done! Cause it goes- that one takes five minutes to warm up. That's a long one to warm up. I said your cheesecake's on the counter warming up. Well, I have that fan on. Mic check, mic check. Check, check. Uh oh, huh? Activate the uplink stations. Well done. We've activated the uplink. Now defend it. Keep control of the uplink stations.
stormtroopers have halted the locking signal. Our bombers need that beacon operational. under our control. Defend it. is defenseless. Y-Wing has a lock on the walker. May the Force be with us.
Don't make me kill you. 